Video editing right now is the biggest thing on the internet. Everybody's learning to do it. Everybody's trying to make money from it. But how do you stand out and actually get to the money and get to the paying clients that are good for you? It all starts out by picking a legitimate path first, either the agency route or the freelance route. And I'm gonna show you today exactly why each one is good for you or why each one is bad for you and which one you should choose. Let's get into it. When I first started my video editing journey 10 years ago, I was a freelancer and I actually enjoyed the hell out of being a freelancer. But I will tell you, I had some sleepless nights where I had zero clue what the hell was going on and how I was gonna pay my bills and how I was gonna get my next client, actually start turning this thing around and actually build a full-time income. That way I can sustain my life, take care of my family and live happily. But then something struck me. After I spent 10 years in this business and finally figured out the exact way of how clients work, how the workflow is, how to get projects, I decided to switch to the agency model. Not saying you should do that, but I'm going to explain to you why I did later on in this video and give you some insight behind starting a video editing agency as well. Now, the first thing I want to bring up is why freelancing is good for you. Freelancing in a lot of ways is actually the best way to go about this. You get to set your own prices, you get time freedom, you also get to work with a number of different clients that are from different verticals so you can actually widen your portfolio. You do not want to niche down in the beginning because you only have one type of content to show people. You don't want that to be the case. You want to give out as much free work as possible to different types of niches. That way you have a wide portfolio. That way when you start pitching your services, you can start winning more projects because you actually have what they're looking for. After you've done all the free work and you have your portfolio set up, now it's time for you to start applying to work. A lot of people are applying at different websites from Upwork to YT Jobs, which is pretty new, to Fiverr. For freelancers, those are okay when you first start. But what I want to tell you is you want to get off those sites as fast as possible. And you want to start working towards building a personal brand, start doing warm outreach to people, get people to buy your services one-on-one -on -one from you just talking to them. When you can pitch your own services, what you can do as a freelancer, you actually make more money in the end and you can actually win more projects because you know how to talk to people and you're great on camera if you're building a personal brand. Also, as a freelancer, you don't have a boss. You don't have somebody calling you every waking minute, ask you about the video project or somebody being on your ass about when it's going to be done. That's honestly one of the best ways you can be. I remember when I first started video editing as a freelancer, I love the ability to tell people know and to tell people the exact time on they can get their videos. To me, that was an advantage because I wasn't locked down to delivering things at a certain time unless we had specified before then. Now we're going to get into some of the cons of video editing. Honestly, freelancing can be pretty stressful. The reason being is because most of the time you don't know where your leads are coming from unless you have an active lead flow coming in, either through ads or through warm outreach or through people following you. Most of the time, the projects are kind of here or there. Sometimes you got a whole month full of 20 different projects to do and sometimes you have one project a month. I honestly don't like it for that reason which is why I decided to switch over to more of the agency model. When doing the freelance model, when I was working 20 projects one month and one project another month, I was really scared to go all in on my business because I knew that it was unstable. Now, could that have been my fault? Absolutely, right? That could have been my fault. It could have been I wasn't doing enough cold outreach. I wasn't doing enough warm outreach. I didn't have a good lead flow. But what I'm telling you is, is that it is something that's going to happen to every freelancer. If you go on Reddit and you look at through all these different subreddits, they're going to tell you that they all have this same problem. And sometimes it's not your fault. Most of the time, projects do dry up. They just don't have exactly what you need to start making an income this month. There's not much you can do about it, but sit around and wait or build up your YouTube channel. This is why I also stress, start building your personal brand. That way you can always get connected to different projects. Now, if we move over to the agency model, there are a couple different things as well with the agency model that I love and things that I don't really like as well. Just know if you switch to this agency model, you're running a full on business. You might have some employees, you might have an office if you want to go that route. I don't really care. I like to work remote. And you also might have a lot of upfront overhead costs. For some people, this is fantastic for them because they can actually sit down and run their business and start employing other people and start making buku money online from different video editing prospects. But what I'm telling you is it may not be good for you because it is 100% full on entrepreneurship and you're relying on other people to do the work for you. If you don't like that and you want to bet on yourself, I'd say go the freelance route. But if you want to try something different, I suggest you try out the agency model and start doing some research on why people are switching to this model so much. A lot of the times you're going to hear this one thing that agencies are a little weird, that agencies hire people overseas and pay them nothing and then they get paid all the money on the back end. And yes, all this stuff is true. Not to say that it's right or that it's wrong, but this is typically how a lot of agency owners do business. They hire some guys from overseas, maybe 15 to 20 of them, and they take on all these different prospects in the US that pay five to six to $7,000 a month for them to edit their videos. Their expenses may be 2,000 bucks a month over here, but they're taking home 5,000 to themselves and their family per client. Now, is there some positivity to that? Of course, you're giving these people jobs and then you're taking home money to feed your family and go on vacations. So it's not all bad. However, there is a couple of things 
about the agency model that I definitely do not like. One of them is that when you're first starting out, you have to build up everything. You have to build up a landing page. You have to have the logo. You have to have an LLC started. There are a lot of things to do with legitimacy when you start an agency that people are, I feel like, are not ready for. A lot of people in the creative field have zero clue how business works and they jump into something not knowing what to do next. So I suggest if you do not know anything about the business world and you don't want to be an entrepreneur, you should not be doing the agency model. However, you can make a lot more money in the agency model, which is my favorite thing about the agency model because the clients are often a lot bigger budget and they also understand you're running a business so they will not try to treat you like somebody that just they just don't care about. They know that you're running a business and that you have multiple employees and that you are serious about what you're doing. So they have more respect for you, they respect your time, and they're willing to listen more because obviously you're running a successful business. Now, what does that mean for you? Now, as the owner of this agency, there's gonna be a lot of different things you have to do to get this thing off the ground. Number one is having a quick and budget-friendly lead flow, either it's from Instagram, Twitter, YouTube ads, whatever you decide to do. Cold DMs, I don't really like to rely on cold 24 seven, but some agencies do rely on cold 24 seven. Number two, is find video editors and creatives that are actually budget friendly and that are good at their job. Some video editors are not really that good or they take too long to deliver videos and that's what's gonna hurt you in the long run. Of course, there's always gonna be client turnover with an agency, but you wanna retain as many clients as possible so you can keep living your lifestyle and not have to keep firing people and hiring people and laying people off and hiring people. That's when the worst feelings, when you have to let somebody go or when you just don't have enough work for somebody to do every single month, it cuts their money off. You do not wanna do that because then you get a bad rap and you start feeling bad. You wanna make sure whatever you do that you hire people that are right for the job and that can get these videos done quickly and well done as well and your clients will continue to be happy and then your editors will also continue to have jobs and number three is a business mindset you're going to need a business mindset to actually understand how to continue running an agency a lot of people want to jump in and micromanage everybody and you cannot do that as an agency owner you have to be somebody that allows people to do their thing and not be so on their shoulders yes you want to ask questions and you want to ask them how are things going is there anything i can help you with are you having a hard time with this client? Is the audio bad on these videos? It's good to know any feedback from your internal team that you can give to their team to figure out what exactly you can do to get a happy medium and get to work. You cannot work on everything by yourself. You cannot take on 10 projects at a time and expect to finish them all. It'll never happen. So whatever route you choose, there's always going to be a good or a bad to it. There's also the third and final route that a lot of people will not take or they won't believe me is smart, but work in house for an agency. There's nothing better than having a little bit of stability. Yes, you may not be making a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, a million dollars a year off video editing, but you have a consistent lead flow. You don't have to pitch clients. All the work gets sent right to you. You can make a good 50, 60,000 a year just editing videos, and editing little small commercials and social media videos for people. So I would suggest if you're not one of the type of people that enjoys doing freelance or that enjoys doing agency work, that you immediately go ahead and find you a nice agency that's already working with a lot of clients, apply, hit up the CEO and see if he's looking to hire new editors, man. And you can find you a nice consistent job. You can wake up to every morning. You probably can work remote and you'll have a nice lifestyle. You can go out and get your family something to eat, take vacations. And usually the CEOs are pretty cool because they're a lot younger guys and they understand that you don't wanna be sitting in an office the entire day. So I would say if freelance isn't for you and if running an agency isn't for you, join an agency that's already working, get you a nice salary and work on all their videos for them. Now, if you like this video and you wanna learn more about which path you should take between the agency and the freelance model, go down below and join The Forge, which is our video editing community over on Discord. It's completely free and it also has a paid version that gives you access to all the courses and access to me one on one is completely free, but it also has a paid membership that allows you to get access to the courses and one on one coachings with me and all the live trainings we do inside of the discord. So with that being said, make sure you join the forge and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.